Hey, I'm Steven Sherrick. I work for Wyndham Miramount Baker in Seattle. I grew up in the Midwest. I've lived in South Texas. I've lived in Oklahoma. I lived in Arkansas. I've lived in Colorado. I've lived in Utah, and, and now I live in Washington. So yeah, I moved around a lot. So I've got a lot of experience uh, with people from different places. My first years of real estate, about four or five years, was in uh, Southwest Colorado. Uh, you know, and I started basically, I knew nothing. I went from real estate school, literally six months later, I was managing an office. And then ended up moving to Seattle almost 10 years ago and got into a completely other life. And I've come around uh, this last year with a lot of history behind me, but deciding that I wanted to go back to real estate school and get my Washington license, which uh, that was an easy process. Then the hard process was deciding like who I wanted to work for. One of my really close friends is also a really close friend uh, to Joe who runs the uh, and owns the Windermere Mount Baker office and so I was introduced to him and automatically we had a great connection there was just something about that office and the people that worked there because I did reach out to quite a few different agents and talk to them that this was a place that was going to not only feed my family, but feed my core. Uh, the truth is I've lived in million dollar homes and I've also lived in my van. That's all I had. I had, my, I had a dog and two cats in the van with me. And then, you know, I, now I live in another beautiful home. So I really understand, you know, with, with so many different people, how number one, how important it is to have a roof over your head and be warm. And I look at my clients as family and I want them to have the same thing. And, um, you know, and I, it's, it's, this market is tough. It is, it's tough for a lot of people. So I think it's important to have someone so understands how important it is to have just the basics in life that all of us should have. Originally how I got into real estate, which I, I had a couple of nonprofits in, in Colorado uh, that were around animal welfare. I worked in animal welfare, uh, animal rescue uh, for a long time. Um, you know, I, I, I've worked for two of the largest animal rescue uh, organizations in the United States. I worked for the largest animal rehab, wildlife rehab center in South Texas. Wildlife Rescue and Rehabilitation as the assistant director, uh, rescued over 2,000 indigenous wild animals every year. Then I went to work for uh, Best Friends Animal Society in Utah, which is the largest domestic animal rescue in the United States. And then I've started in my own nonprofits, um, helping to teach mostly people around uh, better ways to support wildlife and 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 domestic animals. And uh, you know, I've worked in the rescue field for a while. So animals. Animals are a big thing. I have two rescue dogs and a rescue cat. So I love visiting different houses uh, and, and then, you know, finding out like the history of those houses. So, you know, if you're looking, if, whether, whether you're uh, listing with me or you're, you're buying, I like to dive in to kind of find out more information about your home. So number one, you can enjoy it more and know a little bit more about it, but also, Yeah, well, people know me from wearing a hat for sure. I mean, um, I'm, a, I'm definitely a hat person. I have a whole bunch of hats. I walked into the real estate office the other day without one on and nobody knew who I was, so I'm a hat guy. This hat came from um, my son, uh, my oldest son who's a veterinarian, Zachary, lives in Arkansas. Lives, and there's a, this is this amazing kind of hippie artist town called Eureka Springs. They had an amazing hat shop. Um, I typically don't spend a lot of money on hats. I tend to find them. Uh, you know, whether it's at a thrift store or, or somewhere. I have such a connection with crows and ravens, and my logo has a, has a raven holding a key, which I think is super cool. Yeah, and so people know me, my, my circles know me as kind of the raven crow guy because I just, I, I know a lot about them, and, and, uh, and they're, they're kind of, attra we're attracted to each other for sure. I, I, I learned a lot about life doing work with animals. It's, it's taught me so much. And I knew that, that if, if we were really gonna make a difference in the animals' lives, we had to connect with people. 
and um, and it was just a dead end if we pushed people away. And and I've been able to use that in my in my real estate. But we also we also have this amazing ability to have empathy and to have compassion for um, for pe- others, for people that don't have what we have, and for animals. And, and it's hard sometimes, and sometimes we look at it like, oh my gosh, we don't have that anymore, but it's there. And, and I just know me being able to have that empathy from being there and that compassion is really important in this business. And I think, you know, um, one of my favorite quotes from John Adams, and I use it in, the, in my emails, and, and it's on my website, is that um, he would sign all his letters with your humble servant. And he, he was, you know, his, his life was trying to serve others. And that's kind of uh, whether, whether you're flying or you're on four legs or whether you're walking around on two, that's kind of my, my uh, mantra is what can I do to help you?